Hi everyone, we are diving into exciting news from NA10. They have just released MCP server and the client as a node. If you are building AI automation or AI agent or simply using cloud desktop, this is a huge news for you. In this video, we'll jump into NA10 Canvas and show you how to configure the MCP server and use the MCP as a tool for AI agent, show you how you can use that outside of NA10 such as your cloud desktop. So stick around, it's gonna be interesting. Just going to give you a high level overview on what MCP is. MCP stands for Bottle Context Protocol. It's a new standard developed by Entropic towards the end of last year to make LLM talks better with other systems, especially with tools. Think of MCP as a smart API. It tells you what tools are available and how to use them all in one location. The AI agent is connected to various tools. We generally connect tools like sending email, getting email, receiving email. Let's break down the main parts of MCP. We have an MCP host, which is your LLM, and it could be NA10 or your cloud desktop. MCP client, it's the connect that manages the communication between MCP host and MCP server. MCP server is the place where we connect all our tools instead of connecting them directly to our LLM cloud desktop. Using MCP instead of NA10 means your AI agent can call various tools. Generally, when it comes to the tool, you have to connect those tools and configure them. But with MCP, you connect all the tools to the server and then your AI agent is connected to MCP server through MCP client. So this is what we'll be building today. On the left-hand side, you can see an MCP server trigger. On the right-hand side, you can see it's an AI agent. It's got an OpenAI chat model as well as a 10 MCP client. The MCP server trigger and the MCP client, these are the two nodes and it in just released. So on the left-hand side, which is an MCP server, on the MCP server, what I do is we connect all the tools, what I need. For demo purpose, I have connected SERP API, my calendar mail as well as wikipedia and on the other side on the right hand side we have the AI agent with the mcp client it will communicate to mcp server and realize that we have all this tool and based on what i ask he'll use one of these tool let's do a demo let's ask what tool the AI agent has what tools do you have it's got Wikipedia API, email API, search engine, and Google Calendar. Now let's open up a blank canvas and build an AI agent. We'll be connecting that to an MCP server. After that, we'll take that MCP server and connect it to our cloud to create a new workflow. MCP server, if it's not showing up, make sure you have the most up-to-date N810 version. To do that, we go to admin panel, settings, and that's where you come in the latest beta 8.0 that's the version we want once you select that save go back to the canvas switch once you've done all that and search you should be able to see the mcp server M mcp server work as a trigger it's like similar to kind of webhook but it's not in a webhook if you use webhook before it had the same characteristic when you click test tap it's listening for some kind of message or instruction so in terms of configuration, there's two things, the test URL and the production URL. First of all, we'll be using the test URL. Authentication, we can leave it blank, or if you wanted to set up authentication, you can actually set up here. But for us, we just leave it blank, my name. We can type anything in there. Once you have that, let's connect some tool. First of one we connect is Wikipedia. Easy. Then connect SERP. SERP API, which is basically a Google search. To set up a credential, I'll click here, then open up the docs and follow those steps. You'll be able to set up a SERP account, and this is the SERP API once you sign in. And this is the API key. Copy, come back to workflow, paste it here, and save. Then let's Google Calendar. Instead of Google Calendar, we'll do Gmail. We've got to go through the same process, connect your Gmail account to NA10, click new credential and sign in with Google. Leave that set automatically, resource message, get many, choose it to AI, everything less AI. And then we can do calculator. E we can use other NA10 workflow. If you have built an NA10 workflow, you can use that. Then we will build our AI agent. 
to build an AI agent, let's, we need to go to the advanced AI, AI yeah, agent. Add option, system message, you're in a helpful assistant and time now. Two curly braces, time now. Expression, two curly braces. And so now the AI agent have current date and time. The reason we did that is that if I ask an AI agent say, do I have any meeting tomorrow? It doesn't know what the date's today. Or can you give me a summary of last two days email you received? Again, it doesn't know what the time is until we tell the agent. This is how we let the AI agent know the current date and time. We also need a trigger, chat trigger. So we have the AI agent now, we have a chat trigger, we have connected OpenAI chat model to our AI agent. It's a GPT-4 mini. We don't have to connect memory for the instant, but we have to connect the tool. Tool will be the MCP client. We'll come back to that. With the MCP client, we'll be able to communicate with the MCP server and have access to all the tools connected to the MCP server. To set this up, what we need is an SSC endpoint. We need an authentication, we need tool to include. Authentication, we're gonna leave it blank because we didn't set up any authentication. If we did set up authentication, then we have to use here. For the tool to include, I'll leave it as at all. So what means is that what all the tools is connected to MCP server will have access to it. Otherwise, you can also do select some tools or exclude some tool from your agent. To do that, we need an SSC endpoint from the MCP server. So we'll be using the production URL. Let's copy the production URL, put it in here, paste, save. And to use the production URL, you need to make sure your workflow is active. Open chat. Hi, what tools do you have? Let's open it up. It's got a calculator. As you can see, we've got Gmail API, Search Engine, which is the SERP API, and Wikipedia API. Let's ask one more question. It's the AI news today. So it's going to the MCP server, then through MCP client, it's going to the MCP server, get the information and come back. What else we can do? Let's do one more. What emails did I receive today? And can you summarize, summarize them? Same. So what's happening is that it's going through the MCP client then communicating that back to the MCP server. From the MCP server, it's going to the Gmail node, collecting all the email I received and summarizing them. There you go. I got an email from Service News that well that I'm getting some money back, some job recommendation, promotional email, AI and tech update, some randoms. Then also provide me a summary. So let's break it down. If you come in here, I just say, okay, you are a helpful AI assistant. It's a system message. Every time we're sending a message to an AI agent, this let's get included. I said time is now. Remember the curly braces and the human, which is me. What email did I receive today? And can you summarize them? With the client, it figured out that it's got a Gmail node, a description about the Gmail API. So it knows what it does. Then it's got a bunch of text from Gmail as a return. With the help of our OpenAI LLM, we can summarize those and that's what we get returned through our AI agent as response. So that's one use cases within NA10. So the next what we'll do is how can we access this MCP server outside of NA10? I'm going to show you how we can access this MCP server through Claude. Let's open Claude. So if you don't have Claude installed, just download the Claude from Entropy and install it. It's got a free plan and also got a paid plan. Free plan is more than enough to test our MCP. We'll come back to Claude later. Let's go back to our MCP server. Double click, docs. We need information from the documentation is that we need to know how can we configure that so that we can use that outside. Okay. Yeah, that's what we need, this code. This is the code snip we need, integration with the Claude desktop. Copy that. We need MCP URL, which is the production URL. Remember, we didn't set up any authorization, so we'll be deleting that. Go back to Claude desktop. Go to File, Settings, Developer Mode. If you can't see the Developer Mode enable, you have to activate that. Just ask Claude, it will give you step-by-step -step instruction how to enable the Developer Mode. Once you got the Developer Mode enabled, what you need to do is Edit Configuration. Once you edit configuration, it, it will open up this window in your computer. Uh, double click this file, Claude Desktop Configuration, select, paste, 
and then we'll have to paste our actual URL. So we need to go back to NA10, get the production URL, copy that, put it in here. Copy, with JSON it needs to be formatted correctly. Just open up chat GPT. Can you format this, format this JSON? There you go, it's formatting it correctly. Copy, go back here. Save. So now we need to restart our Claude. Cancel also make sure that coming out from here too. Now restart Claude. Here you go. You can see it, these are the two is MCP. So if you click there, it tells me what are the, some of the tools it's got access to. And as you can see, it's got access to a calculator. It's got access to a Gmail. And it's got access to a search function and it's got access to API. And it's all server from NA10. So we can test it. What's the... AI news today. Why just use the search MCP? There you go. Now you have access to the live news in Claude. So think about this. You can add as many tools as you want in your MCP server and you'll be able to access that through Claude. Your email, your calendar, you name it, your table, anything you add, you'll be able to access. There you have it. Now you know how to configure the native NA10 MCP server and then using the MCP client to access the server and the tools. Also, how can you access your NA10 MCP server from outside of NA10 if you like the video, give us a thumbs up, subscribe to my channel. Google tell me that 95% of the people who watches my channel doesn't subscribe. So please subscribe if you're interested in automation and how you can build an agent. I regularly publish video. Until next time, thank you.